I have my breakfast this Tuesday, April 12th, and I'm, for whatever reason, I'm really excited about it, maybe because I'm so hungry. I have a meeting in an hour at my daughter's school, some sort of college planning, something with the counselor, so I'm eating a little bit early. This is a three-point Thomas Light English muffin. I have a egg mug here, one egg white for zero points, and a quarter cup of liquid eggs for one point, mixed with bell pepper, mushroom, onion, tomato, oh, I guess it was pico de gallo, and then um, 10 grams of reduced fat cheddar for one point. And then I have a Jimmy Dean turkey sausage patty for one point. So three, four, five, six. I have grapes. I won't get to all of these before I have to go, but it'll be on my desk. And then of course I have coffee, one point for the Coffee Mate sugar-free Italian sweet cream creamer. So seven all together here. Having lunch now. I have a bed of lettuce with pico de gallo. That's all zero. I have one point's worth, or I think it's just under a tablespoon, of the Bolt House Farms yogurt-based dressing, the Salsa Ranch. I have 10 grams of crumbled Tostitos, the baked ones, that's one point. I have 20 grams of avocado, that is also one point. And then I have a third cup each of brown rice and black beans, those are two points each. So, two, four, five, six, seven for my lunch. That should do me for a while anyway. This snack has taken me longer to get together than it will for me to eat it because I keep starting it and then I can hear my emails going off and ah, doorbell ring, all that kind of stuff. So 15 minutes later, I finally have the darn thing put together. Four point snack all together. Two points for my Quaker ch chocolate crunch rice cake. One point for chocolate PB2, two tablespoons reconstituted with water. Zero for the banana, zero for the less than a gram sprinkling of coconut. And then one point for my third cup, 1% milk, which I have steamed and thrown into my latte here. So apparently people are looking for me, so back to work. So I went to my daughter's school this morning for a pre-college check, I don't, anyway, it was, she's a junior, we're working on college stuff. It was sort of like a, a little brief check-in meeting with the counselor just to make sure we understood you know, where we need to be and what we need to be looking at. And Oh, they put so much pressure on these kids nowadays. Anyway, her school is really close to a Kroger that I never go to anymore now that she drives herself to school. And so I decided I was going to pop in there after the meeting and pick up a couple of things that... I usually can only find at Kroger or is kind of kind of hard to find at Randall's. Anyway, I found myself sort of poking up and down the aisle and that was a bad idea. And I bought this and this is usually a bad idea for me to buy this. I'm okay with prepackaged things. I'll sometimes pay extra for it so that they're pre-portioned and I don't eat the whole bag. But this is one of those things that I can't find pre-portioned. I don't buy it very often. This is one of those things I have the tendency to find in the cabinet and stick my hand in and sort of stuff in my face. It's not a trigger food per se, but I'm such a salty, savory lover that this can kind of be a runaway train for me. But it was on sale, so I bought it. I am having 24 grams of this. It's three points. It's four o'clock or just after. I have some bell peppers in the oven softening up. I'm gonna make the filling for them and that's what we're having for dinner. Wish me luck that I don't come back and eat this bag. Snack while I work on dinner, a couple of slices of red bell pepper, two Melba toast from Old London for one point, and I can't remember how many grams this was, but it's one point worth of goat cheese, so a two point snack. This is dinner, so I'm going to post the recipe down below. It's called Dad Stuffed Bell Peppers, but I modify it quite a bit and change it up so it has fewer points. Um, anyway, the way I do it, this ends up being four points for half of a bell pepper, and it, my husband loves this recipe. It's delicious. I took the advice of several posters who recommended slicing an apple and sprinkling it with some cinnamon and microwaving it for a little bit. The microwave helps 
warm up the juice of the apple and sort of make the cinnamon come alive, to, for lack of a better word. So I did that, uh, tossed it all together, and then I got out a Dannon Light and Fit Greek yogurt in the salted caramel. This is two points. And mixed in one tablespoon of fat-free Cool Whip, which is zero points, just for a little bit of extra fluff, and then spent that on my dessert. <laughs>